Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Hey, today we're gonna look at the new Brooklyn 101 Blueback playing cards from Brooklyn Playing Card Company. All right, so what is the inspiration behind the Brooklyn 101, the Blueback deck? Uh, this deck is modeled after a very rare stamp called the Inverted Jenny. Uh, it's a biplane, uh, a misprinted upside down plane actually, uh, called the Inverted Jenny, and it shows that sometimes there is great value in seeing something that others can't see. Uh, the tuck case is what is modeled after that stamp, and as you can see, it is very elegant and very simple. The front of the tuck case simply says Brooklyn across the top. Uh, you've got a bridge there in shadow uh, inside that spade pip. It says 101 back playing card company. One side says standard faces classic finish. The other side says Brooklyn playing card company. The bottom has a little bit of ad copy about the Brooklyn 101 back and the back design of course is the back design of the cards. The top says first edition and 2017 and that is pretty much it for the tuck case. Let's take a look at these cards. All right, so these cards come printed from the Expert Playing Card Company out in Taiwan. And a lot of people always ask me how these cards feel and how they handle. Uh, these cards are soft but controlled, buttery, but snappy. They have some of the smoothest edges and they are a pleasure to handle. They ferrule great in both directions straight out of the box. The other thing I can tell you is how thick they are. I can stick 10 of these into a caliper, measure 10 of them, and then compare them against maybe other decks you've held or owned before. Uh, 10 of these in the caliper comes to 2.97. 2.97 is about the same thickness as the Blood Kings or a deck of Aladdins. The back design is a standard blue diamond grid, similar to a casino back card. However, it has a white poker border, probably the, one of the thinnest uh, poker borders ever printed from Expert Playing Card Company. It surrounds this uh, vintage diamond pattern and the uh, most interesting thing about this unassuming minimal back design is that it is also a deck that is marked. These are marked cards people and not only are they marked cards but you can see the marking on this from an incredible distance, probably one of the furthest reaches uh, like, like across the room. A fast read in any game, uh, it would be a card worker's dream, a magician's dream. The marking, of course, is very well hidden, very hard to see, uh, but once you see it, you'll always see it. With this deck, you'll also get two original jokers. It is the silhouette of a seated man dropping cards out of his hands, uh, and underneath there is the banner that says Kings County. Your ace of spades uh, simply has the spade pip with the bridge there in the center. It says Brooklyn 101 across the top and Brooklyn Playing Card Company 101 back underneath. Your pips, indices, and court cards will all be completely industry standard, making them instantly recognizable for gameplay, magic, and flourishing. All right, so that's pretty much everything I can say about the new blue Brooklyn 101 back from brooklynplayingcardcompany.com. Uh, I would suggest if you like this deck, you should probably pick it up because there were only 2,000 decks printed in total. And of course, I wanna thank the Brooklyn Playing Card Company for allowing me to have this deck so that I could do the review for you. Thanks, bye.